really lovely to see you, to meet you, you yesterday and to see you here today. Um, you said earlier on that there were some memories rekindled, but not many. Having, having walked around, is that the same or are there a few more? Well, not really because uh, don't forget, I'm, I'm 82 and uh, if you take 75 years away and throw them out uh, when I wasn't here, uh, that doesn't leave much. <laughs> at the other end. <laughs> That's true. Uh, so, but I, I, funnily enough, I remember the landscape uh, as much as the house. Um, the, the view of the, of the grounds and the, and the distance and the downs, uh, I uh, sort of jogs me a little bit, which is, yeah. uh, and it's just amazing. And it happens to be a beautiful day which is also uh, extraordinary. Um, not that when I left it was, I can tell you what it was raining or not. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That is the general feeling. <laughs> now, I, it's interesting, that doesn't really surprise me, your, uh, the, the kind of the memory of the landscape, because I think it is, um, it's definitely one of, if not the standout element for me of the, of the place. The house is obviously, is, it, you know, it's a very beautiful house and, mm. and I love it very much. But it's, it's setting and the way that it's set into the, into the landscape it, is incredible. It's very very nice. I, I can't, I actually can't think of anybody that's visited us here that hasn't remarked on, uh, on the view yeah. and the, the relationship of the, the house to its garden. The only thing that struck me is that the, where the, Henry Moore was at, uh, at the end of this uh, promontory that sticks out towards where the pool is now, which wasn't there originally. Mm. Uh, I felt it was about twice the distance, but that's probably because I was half the height. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> even in the short time that you were here. Uh, and I've got a photograph in my office of, of Frank Lloyd Wright taking tea on the terrace. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's quite an achievement. Uh, yes. And uh, they, he was on the Cape too, and Gropius and uh, uh, Siegfried Gideon and uh, Eero Saarinen, all, all kinds of people from, uh, a lot of whom were my father's students who were very well known uh, uh, now because they made their own names in different places in the world like Australia or wherever they went. Harry Seidler and people like that were uh, his students al along the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, my father had uh, uh, a habit which he did not pass on to his sons which is that he uh, wrote letters uh, every morning uh, uh, for a couple of hours right. to his students, some of whom hadn't been his students for 30 years. It's nice to see that it's still a modern, a modern house and doesn't look uh, it, it needs a little paint here and there, but uh, it uh, still holds up, which is uh, gratifying uh, to know that something that can be uh, 75 years old or whatever and more and uh, uh, still uh, 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 speak for itself is, uh, uh, is a nice thing. <laughs>